Hello, uh, my name is Sean Patterson, and I'll be showing you how to do the Simpsons rule with Excel. Um, the Simpsons rule is uh, basically is a numerical method in calculus. It approximates the integral integral of a function between two limits of a and b, and it helps find the area under a parabola but above the x-axis. So between the the parabola and the x-axis is is the area you're you're looking for. That's what it's used for. Uh, Simpson's rule formula is um, a, a definite integral um, evaluated from A to B um, with uh, f of x as the function uh, d of x is uh, approximately, approximately equal to s of n. And then s of n is equal to delta x over three multiplied uh, by f of x of zero plus f of x uh, of one plus, um, I mean, plus four f of x of one plus two f of x of two. And it, and it goes back and forth until you uh, get to your final intervals uh, value in uh, terms of x in the uh, function. So it'd uh, be four, two, four, two, and then finally one. <clears throat> and then um, our, my childlike drawing, but um, the integral will be uh, evaluated from zero to 12 and it's going to be uh, one over one plus x squared dx. And uh, so what we're gonna do first is we have to draw a number line so we can find out uh, the intervals um, from zero to 12. And in this case, we're using n equals four, which is uh, four intervals. Um, from x is zero, x one, x two, x three, x four is uh, zero, three, six, nine, and twelve. Um, going by values of three because twelve divided by four is three, and um, then we have to find the delta x, which is a another important piece, and uh, b minus a, which is twelve minus zero uh, divided by n, which is four. That will Bring you down to three so delta x will be equal to three we're about to use this here in a moment um, the excel sheet should be uh similar to this one below um, you have your n value which is four uh, the upper limit which is 12 and the lower limit which is zero and then we have delta x which we just calculated which is three and then we uh put in our x values uh, x of zero x of one x of two x of three and x of four um, into this column here. And uh, this is where our function is going to be using these values. And then um, we have the one, four, two, four, one um, uh, to multiply by those functions to find the answer. First thing we're going to do is um, make f of x equal to one divided by one plus um, the uh, e two, which is uh, the the box with zero in it. Um, this uh, allows us to grab zero from that box and put it into this box. And um, uh, that's how this function works. It, and then next what we do is <coughs> grab the, uh, grab the bottom right box of the uh the bottom right dot of the box and drag down and it automatically fills out everything it uh, grabs the value from each part of the uh, this column as you go down um, it's not definite because we didn't put a dollar sign as uh next to the uh the number or the letter of the um the column that we're using <sighs> And then we, uh, in H, we let H equal um, F of two and times G of two. And that multiplies this by this. And then we drag down and it automatically fills the values for each um, row as well. Then finally, we um, let G10 equal uh, B4 divided by three, B4 is delta X. And we divide that by three, which is one. But, um, and then we multiply 
that by the sum of this this column here. And we uh, find that by just dragging down and it automatically fills in. Then we have to close with the parentheses and hit enter. And, and that's the answer. That's how we find the Simpsons rule of uh, an integral rule on Excel. Thank <laughs> you.